Okay, today we got an extra panel that we're gonna install on our host Yukon. We have the extreme off-grid package, which is 760 watts on the roof. We're gonna throw another 200 watt panel up there. They don't make the 190 panels and 190 watt panels anymore. So the voltage and the amperage is, is almost exactly the same from the 200 from Go Power that it would be for the 190. So we're gonna do a, a, a unboxing of these that we got from e-trailer. So one thing I would recommend doing is don't throw away your box in this uh, cardboard because you can use this to put over top of the solar panel when you're doing the install so it doesn't stay charged. So this is the Overlander kit that you need to do an add-on. It's the Overlander E, we got it from um, E-Trailer. We also got two 10-foot extensions because these are in series and we're gonna run it to the two front panels on the top of the camper. So we're gonna have three on controller one and two panels on controller two. So all the hardware is on the inside here. You, pr you, pr you probably won't use these when you're doing it in a series, but I highly recommend if you don't understand what you're doing to watch some YouTube videos on what the difference is between parallel and in series. roof now is I'm trying to figure out where the aluminum beams for the roof go because host screws their solar panels into the aluminum beams so just take measuring a pencil and I'm going to measure from this side here this 11 and a half is the center of where the bracket is for this solar panel and I'm gonna come over here and measure 11 and a half using a pencil so I don't mess up anything So that should be where my first aluminum beam is for here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the back one on this first solar panel over here. The center is 48 and a half. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm just gonna connect the two lines and that's where my beam's at. And that's where my beam's at. Then I can figure out on the solar panel where to put the L brackets on for the solar panel to line up with this with these beams and it's done. So now I'm just gonna install the brackets and host on the other, other panels, the, the, the ones on the side and on the front, they're using the very first hole. So I'm just gonna keep the same uniform. So basically you got four brackets you got all the, all the hardware that you need to both install the brackets plus bolt the brackets down. We're also going to use this product here that I got on Amazon. It's a 3M tape. So once I get the product, the brackets on here, I'm going to clean where the spot is where they're gonna go on the roof with the, my alcohol. And then I'm gonna tape here to here to set it and then I'm going to screw it down and then put the uh, caulking the self leveling caulking on top of it for the water type so now I'm going to cut this one section out and the other section out and I'm gonna use these as covers to go over to the two existing solar panels in the front just to block any sun from getting on top of them because I don't want it to be charged when I do it. And I'm gonna use this piece over here as a cover for that one when I hook up all the wires. 
We are underneath a carport, so there's not a whole lot of sun getting to them right now, but I just want to be safe. We have the, the solar panel on the roof and I'm running the wires. This is like the second take, so I have to show you what we did because we thought we were taping and it didn't work. So basically, you got a positive and negative coming out of the solar panel and we are running in series. So I basically take my 10 foot extensions and go negative to positive, positive to negative on here. And I go to the first solar panel that's in, the, in line and I go to the, the negative to the positive on the solar panel and it's already going to that panel over there and coming back off the negative lead. And then I, I hook my negative to positive wire on here. It's really kind of dummy proof. It's not hard to do. You just want to make sure that you don't have your panels keep having to charge. That's why we, we had cardboard on top of them, but we already removed the cardboard thinking we were done. So this is cut number two <laughs> of, of how to install the solar panels. So right now I'm going to, my solar panel is not mounted. It's just laying up here. I'm going to go ahead and put it where I want to, screw it down, tape it down, put my uh, level uh, uh, sealant on there. And uh, once I get that secured, then I'm going to come back up here and uh, tie wrap the wires down to the roof and uh, it should be done. So this job really would have taken about no more than an hour, 30 minutes to an hour uh, to, to complete. And it's not hard. You just have to be careful that you don't uh, have a, a charged panel because it can arc back on you. All right, so now I'm gonna take the stainless steel screws after we've taped down the, the, the brackets with the 3M tape and screw into the roof. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you got anything out of it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and smash the notification button. It really helps the algorithms of YouTube to help us get seen. So again, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. You're not going to want to miss that one. Putting down the lap sealant, and it's really kind of self-explanatory. You just want to cover up the whole thing and it'll actually lay flat. And believe it or not, that will lay flat in a nice pile. This is what the final install looks like. Solar power panel is there. You can see the lap sealant. And the extra cords are here. So I had bought two 10 foot extensions and you can see by the extra cord that I have that I kind of over did it on the, the length of those. On the one I would have got a four foot extension and the other I would have got a six foot extension but you know it's better to have more than not enough and as you can tell that they're mounted to the top and I have lap sealant holding those down also with the 3M tape uh, and tie wraps so it came out pretty good and that's the original wires here and those are the extensions there that go to the boot here. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it as best as I can. Thank you.